everyone. Hello. We are January 7, 2023. After sailing for 18 days, we've reached Antarctica here at the Eskrom Ice Shelf in Droning Montland. Uh, during our voyage, we've been deploying CTD and plankton nets for jellyfish, but also Horasan has been deploying moorings and recovering moorings. And now we'll start the second part of the expedition, which is the resupplying of the Neumeyer Station Creek, which is 15 kilometers inland. So 125 years ago, the situation for uh, Adrien de Carlache and his team was a bit different. Uh, they took five months to travel from Antwerp via South America to Antarctica and uh, they landed in the Antarctic Peninsula, which is actually on the western side of the Weddell Sea, while we are still on the eastern side. So for us, it will take another week, maybe a week and a half, depending on conditions of weather and sea ice, before we really enter the footsteps of Adrien de Gerlache and uh, his Belgica expedition. Have fun in <laughs> After a bumpy ride on the sledge for like an hour, uh, we finally reached Neumeyer station, the German Antarctic station. And what follows is a guided tour around the station. Here we are in the basement of the Neumeyer station, probably one of the most important uh, places of the station. Uh, this is where they keep all their piston buoys, um, but maybe more importantly is these hydraulic pumps, these hydraulic poles, and actually the entire station rests on these and uh, they can adjust their elevation um, because every year there's a precipitation, a snowfall, snow accumulation of one meter. So every year the station has to go up by one meter. So this is the garage. This is the place where they fix up their snow scooters when something's wrong. This place is the fish tank and it's a nickname for the snow melting machine. Um, to make fresh water. It's very warm in here because of all the filtering happening. The, the fresh water you get from it, it's so pure that it lacks almost all minerals. So uh, after uh, melting it, uh, they actually add additional minerals to give the water some taste and some nutrients. Uh, the Neumeyer station is actually composed of uh, two types of layers. We have here like the outer shell of the station which is then uh, followed by this little hallway and then you have the inside of the station and this is built up of all these different uh, units. So now we're in one of the central hallways of the Neumeyer station and all these rooms are different labs and different workshops. The most important place, the Geolab. The changing room. I mean, you don't want to go out there uh, with too little clothing. So now we are on the roof of the Neumeyer station and uh, there's lots of fun stuff out there actually. So on top of the Neumeyer station there's the, all these different kinds of uh, meteorological uh, instruments which measure various kinds of properties of our uh, weather of our atmosphere and um, actually I'm a geologist so I don't really know the details but uh, it looks pretty cool
here we are at the atmospheric geochemistry lab and this is where AWI scientists uh, study the composition of the atmosphere in Antarctica and uh, what happens on the right side of this lab is there they uh, pump in air and then they measure all kinds of variables they measure co2 they measure methane uh, ozone and all kinds of aerosols and the the entire suit of the atmospherical composition and then at the end uh, when all the air pass through all the different detectors and measuring devices the air is pumped out again <laughs> how do you like it here <laughs> Our research area, and uh, hope to see you later.